Hi, I'm Mark Craighead, owner and founder of Crossbreed Holsters. Welcome to Trigger Time. Hey guys, we're glad to have you with us. Let's go talk to Rob Pincus about staging firearms in home. Once you've made the decision to have a firearm in your home for the defense of yourself or your family in the worst case scenario, one of the first things you have to deal with is where you're going to stage that firearm. Now there are a lot of options and if you have multiple firearms then you might even be able to stage firearms in multiple places in your home. But the consideration for your emergency plan, for your tactics, and even for the viability of being able to use the firearm at all, all revolve around you thinking about the layout of your home, the likely movement of an attacker, and the likely places that you're going to be. So we're going to go and look at a bunch of options inside of this floor plan, and we're going to start right here near the entryway to this home. Now, if someone comes in through this entryway, if they force their way in, regardless of where I was at the time that happened, and that may very well be the kitchen. Of course, we know a lot of people spend time. This is a very common area. This is the first corner. This is the first place where I would engage that person or become aware of that person. Or if I were hiding from that person, this may be the best first place for me to access a firearm as I'm doing here from this quick access safe and being in a position where I continue to move away or defend myself right here if I need to. Now, I'll put this one back in here and let's first and foremost talk about one important consideration of storing a firearm in the home. Are we going to keep it secured? Are we going to keep it in a safe? Or do we not have to worry about unauthorized access inside of our area because maybe there aren't kids, maybe we live alone, and in fact what we can do is have firearms that aren't secured and are more easily accessible. Perhaps I'm going to have a firearm not in a quick access safe inside of a drawer, but simply placed inside of a holster inside of a drawer, ready to go. Maybe loaded, maybe unloaded. Or maybe when I'm sitting on the couch watching a movie, I've got something even more potent available immediately should I need it in a worst case scenario. If you're going to keep firearms unsecured inside of your home, of course, you need to make sure that that is legal in the area that you live. You need to make sure that you're responsible for whoever has access to your home in general, not just the actual firearms themselves. Because now, anyone who can get into your home absolutely has access to that firearm, and you need to be aware of that. Now, here's one that a lot of people don't think of. If you have kids in your house, there's probably a room where the kids live. And if those kids are asleep or if those kids are playing, you may move first and foremost instinctively to that room to secure your kids. If I end up here in the kids' room and I don't have a firearm with me, I might have wanted to stage one here ahead of time. Now, the kids' closet isn't probably where most people think of keeping a firearm. But if you have something set up like this quick access safe that is secure, that is somewhat concealed, and that has a firearm inside of it, ready for use in the worst case scenario, you shouldn't have to worry about your kids having unauthorized access to it. It's locked, it's secured to the wall, and it's no less accessible there than it is in your room or in a closet or in that drawer. The idea is you don't have to worry about your kids getting into your firearm when they're not supposed to because you've educated them, they know the consequences, and they know how to act responsibly around firearms. Now again, your bedroom is probably also a place that you're going to spend a lot of time, especially at night. Where are you going to be? Sitting inside of your bed. When you're lying in your bed, you want to have quick access to a firearm. And this is a great way to do it, with a bed holster. This holster is designed so that it can be made to hold a whole bunch of different types of firearms, very quickly and easily accessible. And of course, if I'm under the covers, I don't even have to move it out of the way before I reach down for it. Also, in the bedroom area, probably going to be your last barricade area. Two, three, maybe four doors in this case. If I can get the family, if I can get anyone in the house behind me into this area, that doorway is my last defense. At my last defense, I might want to have a very capable long gun that I'm going to use to protect myself or others, staged with ammunition or without. Of course, if it's without ammunition, you're going to want to make sure that that ammunition is close by and easily accessible. Ultimately, where you keep your firearm is going to be up to you, up to your family, making sure that it's the right place to be, the responsible place to be, and that it's an option. 
Ultimately, the place you may have it all the time at the ready is staged right on your body. The decision you make is incredibly important. Think about it. Trigger Time is brought to you by Crossbreed Holsters, Drago Gear, DS Arms, First Spear, Keltec, PNW Arms, Thunder Beast, Saber Red, Century Solutions, Delta Outdoorsman, Sport Optics, Fox Knives USA, 511 Tactical, and WW Guns.